I messed up? What? Ever happened to you? <laughs> no. <laughs> it hasn't. A couple weeks ago, we were traveling between Missouri and Florida and back. Yeah. And we had some issues with some mm -hmm. premature tire wear. And we were troubleshooting. We had no idea what was causing it. And so one of the things that we had recently changed was the sumo springs. So in an effort to rule that out, yes. we took the sumo springs off for one of the travel days. Mm -hmm. And we shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only day. 2,000 miles round trip Yeah. from here in Florida to Missouri and back. And the only day something broke was the one day we took the sumo springs right. off. So, and there was no significant tire wear on that day. No. So that was not the issue. <laughs> the other way that I messed up was because I didn't know that if that was the issue or not, we took that video down. Because if that had been the issue, we didn't want people buying a product that didn't work properly. Correct, but instead of taking it down, we should have just privatized yeah i accidentally <laughs> deleted it <laughs> so yeah. here's your update it's been a couple of months over 2,000 miles of travel and the sumo springs work perfectly love them especially because you took them off it reminded me exactly why we needed them because stuff was relocated yeah thanks to the united states highway and because i can't just bring it back I have to repost the video. Yeah. So if you've already seen this, I apologize, but yeah. at least you get an update on how the Sumo Springs are working. They're great. We they can still save you money. Great. And here's the video. Well, today's moving day. Not always our favorite. No. One of the reasons it's not always our favorite is because it bounces our crap all over the place, man. Yes. We've had stuff fly all over this rig. We've had the big glass plate fly out of the microwave yes. and bash our cabinets. We've had one of our big MCD shades over the dining room fall oh, wow. completely off. We've had picture frames that are even like quake putty down fall off. We've had these tables, stuff that we store in beside the couch, kind of move its way out. And then when we go to open the slide, it crunches. Toilet brush meet us at the front door. That was crazy. The toilet brush <laughs> was behind the toilet. So we had to go out the door, down the stairs, round the corner. And when we opened the door, the, the was. brush was there. That's how much these things move around. So. Today, yeah. we're going to try to fix the problem, man. Okay. <laughs> this is a sumo spring. Now, the sumo spring is designed to go between your spring and your frame okay. on all four of your axles to minimize that bouncing that you get gotcha. back here in the back of the rig. So, hopefully this will work we're gonna we're gonna install these today and you know how i am with installing stuff mm -hmm. so they say it's really really simple yes let me tell you a little bit about these guys it looks like rubber but it's not it's actually a microcellular polyurethane and i don't know what that means no you don't but supposedly <laughs> it lasts longer and holds up better than rubber okay and because it's not rubber it's a progressive spring which means it will take the brunt of the force when you need it to but when you don't need it to, it'll allow your manufacturer's springs and shocks to just do, do their own thing. Okay. These things require zero maintenance. I like that. You never have to do anything. <laughs> if you change RVs, you can take them with you. I like that too. <laughs> so you don't lose that on any money. As a lifetime warranty. Love that. So you only have to buy these things one, one time, time, ever. Um, Unless you move to an RV where this type of spring is not compatible with your new kind of okay. RV. Okay. So you have to talk to Super Springs International, go onto their website and see which one of these work for you because they have these in uh, light things. duty, yeah. medium duty, and heavy duty. This is a medium. Okay. I think the light is in blue and then the heavy is in yellow. Okay. But it's one bolt. These things hook right onto the spring, bolt that tight, and supposedly that's it, man. So sounds good. We'll we'll see. I can see why these things have a lifetime warranty. Yeah. They put this thing through a crazy fail test. Okay.
after all that, they installed it and drove down the road and it still didn't fail. Wow. Crazy. <laughs> Puncture proof. Puncture proof, waterproof, shotgun proof apparently. <laughs> These things are tough. Okay. Um, the reason that we don't have them installed already is because you need to be on pretty level space and you have to have all your slides in. So we figured, hey, on moving day would be That's the best day to install it. Mm -hmm. And since it's so easy, shouldn't take shouldn't too long. Take long at all. <laughs> so we decided since we don't have these on here yet, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a camera in the living room okay. today while we travel. And we're going to set up a camera underneath the RV, oh, cool. pointed at our shocks and our springs okay and so we can see what our rv acts like without this okay and then in a few weeks after we have these installed we'll move again and then we'll show you the difference okay and then if we recommend it stick around to the end because we will save you some money i like that. i know you like that i love that <laughs> All right, here's all the parts that you'll need for one sumo spring. You'll need the spring itself. You'll need a long bolt. You'll need these two brackets. You'll need a short bracket and a long bracket, a short bolt, a nut, and a washer. All right, you're gonna take these two brackets. You're gonna overlap the short bracket with the long bracket. Then you're gonna take the small bolt and put it up inside of there. And then you're just gonna screw your super spring right into the top of it. Leave it a little loose. You'll want some play because you wanna be able to mess around with this thing once you get it down there. I'll take the long bolt and put it through the brackets down here. On the other side, you'll put your washer and your nut. And again, leave it loose so that you can adjust this to get it onto your spring. I would suggest getting these all together, at least like this, all four of them, before you get under your RV. Save you some time coming back and forth out from underneath your RV. All right, let me get all my tools ready. <laughs> That's it. 9 16 socket and a socket wrench. That's it. That's all you need. Now, before you install these, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you consult the uh, instruction manual because there's a way that you need to measure to make sure that you don't need extra space. You got to measure the space between your spring and between your frame. And if it warrants it, you might need some spacers to put in there to raise the height of these sumo springs so that you get the uh, maximum effect of the relief of the, the bouncing. So just uh, look in the manual there to see if, uh, if you need these spacers. In our case, we don't. So we're just going to install these without it. Another thing you want to make sure is when you're putting these in, you want to make sure that it's not going to bump up against any of your gas lines or your brake lines. Uh, if it does look like it's going to hit it, there's some hardware in the kit that will help you move these over out of the way and mount them up to your underbelly so that these super springs aren't rubbing against it or bouncing against these lines because they will cause damage and failure in these lines if they're rubbing and bouncing on these things. All right, when you're mounting these, I would suggest that you go with the nut side facing out so that you have access to this nut. That's really the thing that you're going to tighten down with that 9 16 rinse. The sumo spring is going to mount right here between your spring and between your frame. So it's going to minimize that bouncing right there. What you're going to do is spread this guy out as far as you can. And then just place it over the top of your spring. Once you got it over the top of your spring, you're going to cinch it down. Okay, once you got it cinched down and got those brackets pushed in as far as you can, you got that guy pretty good centered. Let me make sure I'm good. Okay, it's in there. So now once I got that there, I'm gonna hold that bracket so it's not going anywhere and I'm gonna turn my spring. I'm gonna tighten down that sumo spring just by hand as tight as I can get it and that's gonna lock it down onto those brackets. And now I'm gonna take my 9 16 wrench over this nut and I'm just gonna tighten her up. Well, my 9 16 socket wasn't deep enough. That's what she said. <laughs> so it looks like I am going to need a 9 16 wrench because that, that bolt came out too far and it hit the bottom of my, my socket. So let me go get a 9 16 wrench. You don't have to worry about holding anything 
on the other side because that bolt it seats into there there's a little square end of it that it seats into and it holds it on the other end so you don't need two tools all you have to do is tighten up the 9 16 bolt now i'm just going to do this as tight as i can do it by hand and it should be good that nut already has a lot tight insert in it so it's going to make sure that nut doesn't go anywhere well, it's travel day again, Yep. and it's time to test out the Sumo Springs. As if they haven't been tested enough. <laughs> but we're going to test them personally. So okay. we mounted the camera underneath the RV again, All right. pointed at the Sumo Springs and the shocks. Okay. And we mounted the camera back inside, but we did mm -hmm. something a little different this time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we have a cup <laughs> of candy simulating the weight of a cup of water because yeah. we really wanted to test to see if this would hold up or bounce this off the counter I can't but do water. we I can't did do the water. I mean we, we <laughs> we've seen some other videos and stuff and we've seen people who have tried this but I really I was like I don't know if I really want to put a whole glass of water in the RV while it's bouncing around because if it if just, it didn't work if it didn't work the yeah. water would be all over the place so this is about the same weight of a glass of water so we're gonna put this on the counter and uh, we'll see, we'll see how it goes, man. Yeah. Well, we did it. Did it. We traveled. Traveled. What'd you think? Did it feel softer? I could not tell really. No? And I think it's because I'm not driving. Yeah. I could tell a difference. I mean... Because, you know, if you if you drive a vehicle for so long of a time, or you are towing for so many times, and you kind of get a feel for what it feels like, and you can feel if yeah. something feels worse or better, so you kind of already feel that. Now, on the speed bumps, the little humps, I could yeah. tell. Yeah, you couldn't really feel the trailer bounce no, at I all. No, I didn't feel the Or before, that thing that. really bounced. Yeah. So that was very noticeable. That but, I did notice. But even for me, driving over the bridge seams and over seams, I mean, it just felt like a smoother ride to me. Um, I looked at some of the footage, and it looked like a smoother ride yeah. under the, underneath there. And hey, the cup of candy didn't bounce off the counter. Nope, we still have a cup of candy. It moved a little bit. We hit some pretty good bumps yeah. on the way over here. Yeah, we did. And it did move a little bit off to the side of the counter, but it didn't fall off. And I yes. think that had we not had the sumo springs on there, it would have fallen. that thing would have been oh. bouncing all over the place. Because <laughs> like almost everywhere in USA now, there's just construction on the highway. So yeah. You can't, can't miss it. Yeah, it was only about a 30 minute drive, but we still hit enough bumps to give it a good test out. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna keep testing this thing out, but yes, I mean, just by visibly what I saw underneath there, with the, how the amount of of movement that had yeah. been minimized underneath there, with yeah. the springs and the shocks and the, uh, the the suspension, it just didn't move around as much. So okay. I think that's going to take a lot of the wear and tear off the RV. I really like that if we do get your new RV, we can take these with that's us. That's right. We don't have to get these again. Correct. We can just unscrew them and put them on the new one. Yeah. So. We're gonna save you some money too if you want to get a set of sumo springs right. or anything from super springs uh because our discount code is site-wide so anything you purchase you get stuff for your truck or stuff for your rv anything you get on there you get 10 percent discount nice. you use promo code wayward wags we'll leave a link down in the description so you can save some money on that thank you to sumo springs for sending us over a set of sumo springs to test out mm -hmm. we really are excited I'm about excited having about these having on every rv from here on out yes no matter how many times you make me move. Yes. <laughs>
don't want to see my toilet brush at the door ever again. No, we don't want to see the microwave plate flying out. We don't want no. to see the blinds falling down. We don't want to see <laughs> stuff moving out from beside the table and getting crunched by slides and all the craziness that ensues inside of here yes. while we're not in here. Very happy. And happy wife, <laughs> happy, happy life. life. Yeah. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen service member. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.